This is John Buck again, uh, here with another example for discrete time linear systems. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit tonight about a, a fairly basic system, which is, or how to analyze a fairly basic system, which is the time flip and reverse system. These come up a lot in the convolution sum, so it's important to get a good handle on these first. So what we're thinking about is a system where we have something like y of n is equal to x of 5 minus n. So that's the type of system we're looking at. <clears throat> Some people find these confusing to think about at first because they're, they're not just a straight delay. One way to uh, help you see what's going on is to refactor the stuff inside the brackets, that is the time indices. We could also write this as x of minus, and then pulling the minus sign out front, I have n minus 5 inside the brackets. Well, this can still be a bit of a question because it, it, there's two options, which is do you, do you read this from outside in? So I do, do I do flip and then delay, or then delay then flip? And the answer is, is it's from outside, turns out to be from outside in, though that's not always obvious why, until you've had more practice with functions. But we can, I'm going to show you an example of where that comes from and then show you how this, this works with the signal. So if we, when we have a, something in this form, we, we have step one, is that we flip in time then step two is that you delay in this case delay by five samples okay and one way to, to, to see where this comes from is to imagine a, a chain of having several systems in a row so imagine if, if we break this down one piece at a time. If I do x of n, I take that signal and put it into a system that does a time reverse. And say I call the output of that r of n. And then I run that system through the delay by 5 in this case. We call that y of n. So if you want to write equations now for how the, ver the first input x relates to the final output y, let's see how that would work. Well, we know the first step, the time reverse we saw in class, is that r of n is x of minus n. So I can connect those. And then the delay by 5 we've also seen. We can see that y of n is equal to r of n minus 5. And now I can put this up, let me, uh, let me make it a little clearer here by using color. I can say, well, if I want to find this in terms of x, I take this n minus 5 here and substitute it in for n, which means all of the n's inside here. So if I go back to what that means, that says I'm going to have, this is, r of n minus 5 is going to be x of minus, and then I replace that n by n minus 5, and I'm back up here where I started, right? I have the same thing that I ended up with the factored version here. If I distribute the minus sign through, I'll have 5 minus n. So let's see an example of how this looks with the signal, too. We'll just go on and do a quick example with a short, simple signal. So imagine my input signal, x of n, looks like this. Let's see, uh, maybe we'll have 0 here at minus 1. The first sample will make be uh, height 2. Next one is height 3 at time n equals 1, maybe another 0, and then just height 1 at time 3, and assume everything is uh, 0 after that. So if we want to find y of... Oh, I made a mess there. Let me clean that up. Ah! Oh, didn't mean to undo the whole thing. Alright, put that back. 
Good thing I have a good drawing program. All right, so now I need just a little eraser. Sorry about that. Still learning the tools here. So make this a little, little neater. So y of n, like we just had, is x of 5 minus n. Okay, so as we just saw, we can factor this and then interpret it from the outside in in terms of what happens to the time operation. So it says we flip it and then delay it by 5. <clears throat> the other way, we can just use various values to plug in, and we say, well, if I want to know where this value is going to end up, we say which value of n here will make this argument 0. So when n equals 5, we'll have y of 5 when n equals 5 gives me x of 0. Right, so another way to look at that is that y of 5 is x of 0. <clears throat> and so we can go through, let me uh, put y of n up here. So if I flip it and delay it by 5, I'll end up with out here at 5 will be height 2. And this thing I forgot to label it before was height 3. So right here, let's see, I'll call that 3. A little curvy tonight, not drawing real well. But you get the idea. Then at time 3 would be at 0. And then the last sample at time 2 would be height 1. Minus 1. So there's my, the result of my uh, flipping and shifting it there. Let me clean this little thing up. <clears throat> if you're not comfortable going straight through it, you could draw something like that intermediate signal R of n. I say, well, if I just flipped x of n, what would the... If I draw R of n as x of minus n, what would that look like? Well, if I just flip it in time, the thing at 0 would still be at 0. Then we'd uh, have the... At minus 1, we'd end up with something with height 3. Then a, uh, another sample that's 0 here at minus 2. And then a sample that's 1 up here at minus 3. So this would be my uh, my r of n, and then this is the thing I delayed by five. If I uh, switch my pen color, say this is the thing I delayed by five to get to that. So you can either do it one step at a time like this, flip it, draw the flipped version, and then delay it by the right amount to get to that, or you can think about indices one at a time. Even if you do this, it's sometimes a good time thing to do a sanity check and pick a couple points in the final signal and make sure these equations line up with the way they think they should. Okay, so that's an, uh, an example of how we do uh, interpret things that take the form that for sy systems where the output y of n is the input x of n with the time indices being something like 5 minus n or it could be 7 minus n. And we're going to see that that comes, that comes up all the time in convolution, this idea of flipping and shifting. So I want to make sure people are really uh, straightforward and solid on that before we move on. Okay, thank you.